Are you learning programming or preparing for a technical interview? Measure your progress by solving these tricky programming questions. Give it a try. Let us see whether you can really solve it. Rules are really simple. You get only 2 minutes to solve the problem. You can skip to 3rd minute in this video to find the answer. If you get a right answer, then give this video a thumbs up. If you don't, challenge your friends by sharing this video with them. Most importantly, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you get instant notification when we upload the next coding challenge or an informative video. So here we go, do your best. I will see you in the third minute with the right answer. Time's up. Here is the answer. To achieve our result, inside of main, I'm declaring a character array name of size 50 and I'm asking user to enter the string that will be his name and after that I'm calling my function name and after that I'm making the first call of my recursive function. I'm passing my string to it and I'm passing the iteration number. So that is 1 over here. So once the call is made to the function, so my name is here, my current count is here, I'm going to print that number, I'm going to increment my count by 1 and I'm writing my condition to break the recursion that is if count is less than or equal to 5. After that I am writing my condition. So once this condition is false, recursive function won't be called. So I am making another call. I am passing the same name but this time current count. So before this call, the number was incremented to 2. So in the second call, count would be 2. So subsequently, third call will be made, fourth call will be made, fifth call will be made and in the sixth call, this condition will be false and there won't be any further calls. So that is how we can print a given string 5 times without using a loop. I hope you really enjoyed the question. We have many such programming technical questions with detailed explanation in video format, which are packed into a single courseware at codeguard.com. Link is in the description and you can also click on the i icon to find out the link. Do check it out, it's really useful. You can binge watch all such technical interview questions by clicking on the left playlist or if you want to learn basics of computer programming then click list on the right. Give this video a thumbs up so that we and your friends will get to know that you got the right answer. Don't forget to post your comments. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next coding challenge.